Have you ever worked at a job before where initially when you're hired, not much is expected from you, um, but you continue to remain with the company, you continue to grow in your skill and your experience, um, but then there, there are people in front of you who have been there for longer. They have seniority, so they carry most of the workload. But then for some strange reason, three of the people in front of you, they end up going on a long leave of absence and you're next in line and it just makes all the sense in the world for your manager to hand you the keys, for your manager to say, all right, it's your time to shine, it's your time to step up. We know you've been waiting for this moment for a little while, here you go. But then your manager goes and hires three other guys. They have a lot of experience, but they don't have the promise that you do. They, they, they don't have the ceiling that you do because they've already reached their ceiling. You're still on your floor. That is the, the scenario that it was this year with Tyson Williams. It made all the sense in the world, especially Tyson Williams, uh, the year before having been on a practice squad. So he was around the team. And then we saw Tyson Williams this past preseason. We were like, oh, man, who, who's this? Oh, that, oh, that's Ty, oh, that's Tyson. Okay. I ain't know much about him before, but I, I like what I see. And then, unfortunately, JK went out. Gus was out. Justice went out. So I was like, okay, well, hey, those guys went out, but it's Tyson's time to shine. Young running back, ain't no wear and tear on Tyson. Oh, hey, yeah, he, it's, it's, it's his time, man. It makes sense. And early on, he did get some shots. He did get some opportunities. Now, we know in week one in the Raiders game, he had a fumble. The, the fumble went out of bounds, so they didn't, it wasn't a turnover, but he still had the fumble. You know how Harbaugh feels about them fumbles. So then uh, in week two against the Chiefs, he had another fumble. He fumbled in the end zone. But all pro, kick returner, Devin Duvernay was in the right place at the right time. Shout out to my guy, AJ. My guy, AJ, calls him Devin Duvarney, and it's the funniest thing. But anyway, um, with Tyson, he, he showed you that he can do it, but... This is see, this goes back to the, the, the original story. If you're working at the job and your manager's like, all right, there you go. Do your thing. Show me what you got. And you show him a lot of good. But then at the same time, there's some bad, too. Usually managers would be like, all right, you know what? This kid got promise. This young man, this young woman, they got promise. Even if it's an older man or older woman, they got promise. This employee has promise because they've shown me. Wow. Oh, they can do that. Oh. Oh, I like that, especially since our top three guys, they're on that leave of absence. Oh, oh, but they did that. Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah, it didn't cost our company any money, but still, I, I didn't like that. So you know what? I'm just going to go in another direction. Even though this, this young employee, this employee shows promise and all that. I'm, we're just going to hire some other guys and some other employees that have a lot more experience again. Their ceiling, they've already reached their ceiling, but we're going to go with those guys. And that's what happened. Because, again, um, I, I like how Jeff Zrebic put it because he worded it perfectly in his report. And let's just read it. Uh, he said, per league personnel notice today, the Ravens have withdrawn the exclusive rights free agent tender to running back Tyson Williams. Uh, and just to give you a summary of what's going on uh, with the Ravens signing Mike Davis. That put them at 91 men on the roster. So you can only have a 90-man roster. So somebody had to go. Uh, and apparently, I guess Tyson Williams hadn't signed his tender yet. Um, so the Ravens, they rescinded it. So it's like, all right, we issue you a tender, so you're going to be a Raven. But now the Ravens are like, oh, nope, you know what? Give us that back. We'll take it back. Uh, but let's continue. It says uh, they've withdrawn the exclusive rights-free agent tender to running back Tyson Williams, making him a free agent who can sign anywhere. That opens a roster spot for Mike Davis. Williams was the only uh, exclusive rights free agent who hadn't signed the tender to this point. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But you know what? I am glad. I'm glad for him. I'm glad for both him and for the Ravens that they can both move on from this situation. Because it was weird. I, it was like... When, when they, like, I didn't think he was going to be on the team moving forward 
after last year, just because of how everything was. You would even see him a lot of games. He was active, but he would just be sitting there, wouldn't be used. Even if the other running backs were struggling, he wouldn't be used. Even if the other running backs were injured, he wouldn't be used. And I remember toward the end of the season where he actually got some carries. I think he got two carries. I forgot what game it was. I was like, oh, let's go. But then that was it. That was it. I don't know the backstory. I don't, I don't know what the situation was for why it was the way it was. It was just really weird, though, man. It was such a weird story all season long. But I was 1,000% sure. I'm like, oh, yeah, he ain't going to be back next year. But then when it came out that the Ravens issued him a tender, I was like, what, what are they doing? Why? What's the point? If you're not going to use him, then why? For what? What's the reason? So th them rescinding that tender, I'm, I'm happy for both parties. He can move on and he can hopefully go get a, a real opportunity. And the Ravens, they can move forward as well to where it doesn't seem like they like holding somebody hostage. Because that, that's what it seemed like to me. Seemed like they were just holding him hostage, man. They're like, all right, you, you know what? You ain't going nowhere. But I guess it was smart of him not to sign it yet. So now we'll see what happens next. So now, um, this is where I, I like Jeff's uh, reporting right here. Well, well, we always like Jeff's Rebix reporting. But I like how he broke this down because I had to do some math myself. He said, Tyson Williams started three games for the Ravens last year, finishing with 185 rushing yards and a touchdown on 35 carries. So... I know we, we, we like doing math over here. Well, not really, but let's do the math. 185 yards, uh, 35 carries. That is an average of 5.2 yards per carry. So Tyson was getting it. We know he had some long runs. So when he had him long runs, it, it, it extends that yards per carry. But still, hey, you got the yards. So that is your average. Your average is what it is. Because no, no matter how you got it, it is what it is. And that's what it's going to be. Uh, but anyway, back to the report. Uh, and nine catches for 84 yards. I didn't do the math on those. Uh, but he just never seemed to garner the confidence of the coaching staff. That's true. That is very true. And again, it's something that I, all, I wondered about all last year. Like, what is going on? <laughs> like, really? The, Devontae? They ain't giving him stuff Devontae Freeman? Really? Latavius Smart? These the boy just got here. Then they went out and even brought in Le'Veon. I was like, wow. Okay. What? All right. Um, but, yeah, I am happy that now he he gets another opportunity somewhere else. So wherever that's going to be, um, I hope it goes really, 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 really well, like really well. And I just hope that because, um, see, the, the part that really like blew my mind last year the most was the fact that he was by far. It was not close because he. Like, you had Devontae Freeman, Latavius Murray, and Le'Veon Bell. He was by far your most explosive runner. By far. Pass protection, I don't think his pass protection was all that, though. But in the run game, which the Ravens love the run game, he was your most explosive runner by far. But, and, and, and the thing, I would think, like, all right, you know football teams, they love talent. And it's like, all right, if, if, a player has talent, even if he, if he has an issue, what do coaching staff do? They, they work with that player to try to fix whatever that issue is. They, they've done it. And with him, the issue was, it would seem like it was ball security. It was ball security. Because, again, we talked about the two fumbles that he had. Um, so with that, I, I was just, I was always hoping that he would get the Alex Collins treatment. Do y'all remember Alex Collins when he, he came on the scene for the Ravens? Ravens signed him off a Seahawks practice squad, I think. Came on and said he would get these big plays, these big explosive plays. But then he would fumble the ball. And they'd be like, oh, man, he fumbled. But we got the big plays too, though. So it'd be like, okay, hey, if all they got to do is work on them fumbles, he'll be straight. Harbaugh called him out in a press, presser one day. He said, hey, we're going to work with Alex Collins on those fumbles. We're going to work with him. What they do, they work with Alex Collins on them fumbles, and he turned it around big time. Big time. That never happened with Tyson Williams. And, and I really thought with the situation being what it was, no JK, no Gus, no justice, that they would definitely have worked with this young running back, especially as opposed to the, 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 the three older veterans that you sent, like older veterans that you sent. You got this young guy sitting there with all this talent. But I just, it, it was just such a, a weird story. But now that story uh, has finally come to an end officially. Um, so again, 
wherever he goes next, let's see if he gets a shot, whether he got to start on the practice squad or whether he gets on somebody's roster. Well, he can go to, to a 90-man roster now. He can go to a 90-man roster, and hopefully what some teams saw from, um, from film on him, I know it's a, it's a small sample size. It's a very small sample size, uh, but we'll see who gives him that shot. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for giving us a shot every day. Y'all be coming through on the videos, sitting down, listening. Whether you're watching on your phone, you're watching on the TV, you're watching on the Switch, you're watching on the PlayStation 5, 4, 3, whatever. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. I love y'all. And just like our guy Tyson Williams is now when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we are